Hi, this is Julie with Three Sister Sundries. Today I am going to decorate my mini Doodlebug keychain album for summer. I know it's kind of late, but um, I have not had the time nor the ambition to do this project. But I have pulled together some cute papers and um, some little images that I would like to decorate that. Um, before I go on my vacation. So uh, I have some cute doodlebug paper that's got sunshines on it. And these are some doodlebug, let's see, the sunshine is from Sweet Summer. Um, I have some stickers from Doodlebug uh, Sugar Shop. Um, it's really for birthday, but I thought I could use um, a few of these images just for summer. And then I have one of my favorite collections from Cartabella um, called Cool Summer by, oh my gosh, I cannot read that, Samantha Walker, looks like. Um, I have loved these papers forever, so um, look at that one. That is my favorite paper ever. So anyway, I am going to use that and uh, I also found a cute image of a pinwheel um, on Miss Kate's cuttables so I am shrinking it down to be like tiny tiny so I am just I just thought I would show you how I'm going to cut it out I have separated all into layers um, and I am going to cut out like each color or each little piece is a different color so I have cut one inch squares that I'm laying on my mat in order of the um, that I've put on my uh, design space okay I have got all my papers lined out on my mat so I am going to run this through my machine and hope for the best. I just thought I would show you how I have this set up on my mat. So I have each little individual piece in a one inch square. And then I'll take it over to my cutting machine. And it is, oh, pieces are moving. Mm. Well, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, I have the layers cut out for my pinwheel. So there they are. I don't think I'm going to put it together on camera because um, there are so many pieces and they're so tiny. I'm sure it's going to be very difficult and take me a little while. So I will get this put together and come back and show you the results. Okay, I got my little pinwheel put together. Not sure I got the layers exactly straight, but it's so tiny it was really hard. But I did get it put together, so I am excited to use this one in my book. So let's get started on some of these pages. Okay, on the inside of my cover... Let me see. I know I have written these down several times, but I can't remember. I need a piece at one inch by uh, just over one and a quarter. So let's look in here. I'll use my little tiny prints. Um, I can't decide if I want to try and put a little sticker on or something. Um, and this has some little cutouts here, but I think they're all too big. I think I might use that pinwheel paper to put my pinwheel on. Oh, love that cloud paper, but I think I want to cut that a little bit bigger. But there's this really cute print there. Bicycles. Oh, decisions, decisions. Everything is so cute. Ice creams. I love this little sprinkle. Maybe, let's see, well, one of my little... Okay, I think I'm going to use this little sprinkle 
and maybe put one of these popsicles on. So let's see. One. By just over one and a quarter. Oh, that is a tiny piece of paper. Okay, and then let me just make sure that that is going to fit. I think I'll use my tweezers to get it in and out. Well, maybe maybe just out. Yep, I think that's going to work. So, okay. I have these little doodle pops and I have a couple of popsicles and a little sunshine. So, I will use a popsicle. I think I will use the blue one so it doesn't blend in too much. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so that is going to be my first page. And I know it's going to be a little bit fat, but I think it will fit in there okay. Oh, I might need to move the popsicle over. There we go. So cute. Okay, next up. Um... Maybe I'll do my pinwheel. So let me get out some of this pinwheel paper. I know it's on the back of these cut aparts, but I do have two sheets of this. Okay, so these pages are one, like scant one and a quarter by one and a half. And I need to make sure I do my paper the right direction because this piece, well, that isn't really directional. It doesn't have any uh, sticks on these pinwheels. These tiny, tiny little pieces. Okay. I'm going to glue my pinwheel on right there. I wonder if I want to... Uh, I can't pop it up. It's too... That will make it too thick. These books only, you know, close up. They've only got so much room to do the closure. Oh my goodness, that is so tiny. Ooh, my glue won't come out. Okay, I think I got some glue on there. Maybe I'll put it kind of on an angle. Okay, there's my cute little pinwheel. So we'll put that in the next page. Oh, that's so cute. Let me get my glue put back together. Okay, and I think maybe on the back I'll put some of the sunshine paper because it's um, some of this cute sunshine. Oh no, I set it on a wipe and it got wet and it's all warpy. Anyway, I think I will put this on the back just because I think I can just use the paper without uh, putting anything other decorations on it so let me get out my big trimmer and I will cut this at one and a half is that one and a half oh my gosh it's so dark in here now it's one and a half and I need my ruler on this cutter okay and use my little trimmer to do the rest. So much easier. Okay, and then I want to make sure I get a piece that's got a full sunshine. So I think either end will work. So one and a quarter. And maybe I can dress that up with just a few little uh, 
uh, enamel dots or something. Let me go. Okay, I found a selection. I've got these glittery ones. And I've got just some shiny ones. These are also glittery in a different yellow. And then I've got these little tiny hearts. So let me see, do I want hearts? Let me take them out. I think I'm either gonna do the hearts or See, I could do some yellow hearts, or I could do these glittery ones. I've got some orange or some yellow. You know what? I think I like the hearts. So let's see. Let's put a couple, maybe a pink one and a yellow one. Put the yellow one there. Oh, they don't show up very well. And a pink one down here. Okay, there's that page. And I'm just going to slip that behind my pinwheel. There. Cute little sunshine paper. Okay, moving on to the next page. Let's see, maybe I will use one of these cute stickers. Now I've got these really cute kind of, they almost look like mandalas. I kind of like that one. Let's see if we can find a paper that will look cute with that. Let's see. Is that polka dot too much? Hmm. Or I've got the cute This cute chevron. Let's see. I think the chevron. So let's cut that down to size. And I need one. I think I'll do it this way. One and a half. Order. Okay, I'm cutting it down around my sticker with, oh, this is a one and a quarter inch punch. Okay, now I didn't cut that very even, but I think it will be the right size if now if I can get the backing off. There, now it fits better. Okay, I've got that page in. I was struggling a bit and it ended up needing a bit of a trim. So let's move on to the next page. Um, Let's see if I have any other stickers here. I think this ice cream cone would be really cute. Let me just see if it will fit. It's on kind of a tag. I would have to cut the top of the tag off or the bottom or something. So I don't know if I want to use that one. Um, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to go cut a little lemonade. Um, I have a cut file from Doodlebug that's a glass of lemonade. So I think I'll go cut that and I'll be back. Okay, I made this adorable little tiny glass of lemonade. And I didn't even check to see. Yeah, it's barely going to fit. So, let's find a cute background paper. I'm wondering if this little polka dot... Oh my gosh, look how cute that would be. Now, I'll probably need to add a little bit more glue because this stuff dries pretty fast. Got a little too much on there. Let's draw. Okay. 
this cute little lemonade on here. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh, look how cute. Oh, so adorable. All right, we'll put it on the back of that page. So I'll just slide those in together now. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. Now, let's see what other cute papers we have. Oh, I've got to put some of this cloud paper in. So, I need to pick a cloud to kind of fussy cut. I'm going to cut that just a little bit bigger so I can get that whole cloud and then I will trim off the other side. Let's see, one and a half. And then I'm going to trim this one down on the other side so I can get that whole cloud. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. So cute. And I could find something else to put on that. I know I've used that paper before, but. Ugh. I just love those clouds. I don't know why. They're so cute. I just love them. Okay. Let's see what other paper we have in here that we could put something on. I've got another popsicle. And I've got this other little sunshine. In fact, I could probably put the little sunshine on the back of these clouds on this paper here. Or I could do a popsicle. I think I'll do the sunshine. Put that kind of up towards the top. bit of a jaunty angle. There we go. And then that can just be the next page. So let's get that in there. Be careful to get that in because that is a doodle pop. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute on that paper. Okay, so I have one more page. On to size. Maybe we can do a little bicycle down at the bottom. So this can just be a page right here like that with cute little bicycles and cherries. And then on the other side, I'll put this little popsicle. Make sure that's right side up. And maybe along with that, I can put a little, let's see, enamel dot. Let's see, maybe I could do a pink sparkly sprinkle. Maybe pink on that one. A pink sparkly sprinkle to maybe look like a drip coming off of this little ice cream. Maybe like that. Okay, we'll put that in there. And that will take care of our pages. And then I just need to put something for our back cover. Oh, that needs to be trimmed. Okay. Just need to trim a tiny sliver off of there. Okay, and then there 
we go. And then maybe, maybe the ice creams can go in the back. Okay, let's see. That was just over an inch and... inch and a quarter right just over an inch and a quarter and about an inch wide okay and maybe we can add some little a little heart to this one maybe a little blue heart like that. I think I got it. Oh, cute. Okay. So, um, we need some trim on the top, I think, but let me go find some. I'll be right back. Okay. I found some trim. I've got this cute organdy with green and blue polka dots, or I've got this grow grain with, um, little stitching but I think I like the organdy so let's take that one out and see how it looks all right my trick to getting this one in is to stick it in the in between this uh, key ring and very carefully pulling it through. I don't need very much, but I'll tie it first. Grab my fabric shears to cut this. And I'm just going to fold it in half and give it a little snip so that it has the little kind of banner ends. There we go. That looks pretty cute. And then later I will um, put some, uh, what do you call that stuff? Fray check on my ribbon. Let's do a quick flip through of our finished book. Okay, we open it up and we have the cute popsicle in the inside cover and the little pinwheel from the cut file. Cute little sun paper with the little hearts and our sticker. And this adorable glass of lemonade from the Doodlebug cut file. So cute. And these cute clouds. I'm thinking I might add I might add some little enamel stickers there too. That's kind of plain, but maybe later. And then a uh, little Doodle Pop Sunshine. And the uh, paper with the cute little bikes and the little cherries. And on the back, the other popsicle with a little sparkly enamel dot. And the little ice cream cones on the back cover with a little enamel heart. So there it is all closed up with the little ribbon at the top. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.